nice one. It's Christmas time and there's no need to be afraid. Oh yes there is because I'm about to attempt another 15 minute painting and this time it's Thomas Kincaid's Deer Creek Cottage. Who is Thomas Kincaid? Well I'm going to tell you. You've probably seen stuff he's done but you don't know much about. And believe me it's pretty fascinating. So get your 15 minute timers on and let's go. Good luck everyone. Right, I've got a feeling this is gonna go quite badly. Thomas Kincaid. It was estimated that one in 20 American homes had a Thomas Kincaid painting in them. Possibly the most successful contemporary painter, but he was mocked by the artistic community as a chocolate box kitsch painter. A devout Christian, he had four daughters. He was so Christian, that every single one of them has got the middle name Christian. Imagine being able to say that. Yeah, you think you believe in God? Well, Christian's my middle name. He started out when he went on tour with his friend and they made a book about paintings and he got employed to work on a film called Fire and Ice by Ralph Baxi, who later on made the famous Lord of the Rings cartoon, which is brilliant. And I watched this Fire and Ice the other day. <laughs> Oddly sort of weird, erotic kids cartoon, but really watchable. Anyway, after this, he decided he was going to become a painter and became really successful and started his own empire. But here comes the sad bit. Thomas Kincaid died in 2012 of alcohol and Valium accidental overdose. And he had a history of, let's call it, uh, quite erratic behavior maybe under the influence of alcohol well, you'd have thought he probably was he was known for ritually urinating on places to mark his territory yeah like a dog or a cat and one specific example is that he pissed on the winnie the pooh statue at a disneyland hotel that's what he's well known for yeah you do thousands of thousands of paintings you meet presidents you meet the pope and yet, you are known for pissing on a Winnie the Pooh statue. I suppose it solves one mystery, which is, why is Winnie the Pooh yellow? And there was even controversy about whether he painted his own pictures or he just planned them out and got other artists just to put brush strokes on afterwards. He called himself the Master of Light what Turner was actually originally called. Maybe he got confused with Master of the Lights On. Deer Creek Cottage, the deers will be looking on thinking, thank God I don't live there. You got any grey to do the smoke? Of course I have. It's all grey. Oh, except for the smoke bit, because that's green. The beautiful nighttime light seeping through the trees, is that? Thomas Kincaid, He's mocked for being a, a rubbish artist, but ironically, his art painting is a hundred times more difficult to do than some of the masterpieces. How can this go so badly? Four minutes three, I don't know what to do. Right, let's do the deer. Oh man, dog deer. Fair play, Kincaid. You may have pissed all over Winnie the Pooh, but I think your skill is very much underrated. There's two minutes 32. Everything I'm doing is making this painting a lot worse. Get the lights on. Master of the lights on, remember? If this was on a chocolate box, I would not even touch the chocolates. Absolute diabolical mess. 46 seconds. Give the deer a face. You made your three lick a deer worse. Sewage like river. The scene that ruined Christmas. Snow. That is. And without a doubt, the worst painting I have ever done to finish the year off. Happy Christmas. Hmm. Deer Creek Cottage. My attempt. Dog <laughs> Cottage. And that went a lot worse than I could have possibly imagined. I was so panicked, I forgot to tell you the amazing story about how Tom Kincaid got divorced 
and his new girlfriend of 18 months tried to get all of his properties with this letter that she uh, submitted to court. There's a lot to read about this bloke. Anyway, let's eBay this. All the proceeds are going to go to Bowel Cancer UK. So I'm sorry that I didn't do a better job, but I'm gonna start with an asking price of 10 pounds for my worst ever painting. And to make that a little bit more worthwhile, I'm going to chuck in a pack of Pooh Man, the card game that I've invented, which you can still buy from pooman.co.uk. And I'll give you that free, as well as a membership to my other YouTube channel, Cool Dudes Walking Club, and you can get all this stuff here. Why not check it out up there? So that is it for this year. Thank you very much. If you sent in paintings or a bid on paintings uh, during the course of the year, or even liked and subscribed, it's really helped me out. I've enjoyed doing it. I take a break from painting for a while. I'm still doing commissions for £25 a pop. If you want a really average painting, I'll spend an hour on it. Just um, email me below. Have a fantastic Christmas. All right, see you later, everybody, and happy painting. Okay, everybody, it's Christmas time. So take the hand of the person you love, and I want you to sing along with me with all of your heart. Are you ready, everybody? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Everybody love Jesus, come on. 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 That's good. Now we're going to try something a bit new. You sing along. It might sound weird, but you know it's right. Let's go. Piss on the bear if you love Jesus. Piss on the bear, come on. Piss on the bear if you love Jesus. Piss on the bear, come on. Piss on the bear if you love Jesus. Piss on the bear, come on. Piss on the bear if you love Jesus. Piss on the bear, come on. See you now. Piss on the bear if you love Jesus. Piss on the bear, come on. Piss on the bear if you love Jesus. Piss on the bear, come on. Piss on the bear.